Okay, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutation, I came out there that pushed this road in truthfulness. This is going to be a great millstone. So, without further ado, I'm going to get into these scriptures. I was watching Donald Trump's speech at the UN General Assembly. And what he was pushing was Babylonian juice, man, that Babylon juice. Claiming that the economy is in good shape. And behind closed doors, they're discussing the world's affairs. And what's the, what they're going to do about the economy. Because the whole global economy is circling a drain. And what's going to be the replacement of the, of the petrodollar? And how are they going to push it? And what's going to be the avenue where they bring it out? This is going to be that digital currency that they have stored up, man. You see, these people, the people of America... They think that everything is peace, hunky-dory, and safety, man. Because why? They receive their government programs. And mainly, the two-thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all take everything that's being a joke. Y'all don't take heed to what's, to what's going on if you're watching the news. And chances are you're not. So you're going to get caught up. So this is... This is, um... 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they peace and safety, and that's what they pushing. The mainstream media is pushing peace and safety. The economy is doing great. The trade wars with China is being rectified. And they come to some kind of agreement, which is all bullshit. Which is all total bullshit. So they pushing that peace and safety doctrine and these Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, which are part of the Two Thirds Club, they were still receiving their SNAP program. They still receiving their Section Eight benefits to take care of their rent for that particular month. They still receiving they they still receiving, you know, their child support payments. They could travel to and fro without a problem if that if they have the means to travel. So they think that we talking about the American government. Is is at a is in a peace, a peaceful state. Whereas everything is hunky dory, everything is okay. When they want to shop, they can go to Costco, they can go to BJ's and buy food in the bulk, so they don't have to worry about anything, man. They can go to, they can go to um BJ's, like I mentioned. They can go to um Aldi's, Trader Joe's. They can go to Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, and get food for cheap, man, which is G. Which is totally unhealthy, but guess what? Nonetheless, they think that they're in a peaceful case. Everything is okay. It says, Then sudden destruction comes upon them, as travail upon a woman with child. You know, when a woman is at the last stages of her trimester, you know, of, of, you know of, of giving birth, them pains that's hit her suddenly, boom, and she crook, she bend over in pain. And she know that the time of her, of her delivering, of, of having that baby, is at hand. Just like you want to know when destruction cometh upon you, and destruction is going to come first by the way of they declare martial law, but they're going to call it a state of an emergency, especially if there's another force flag terrorist attack that take place, man. They're going to lock this city down quick, man. They're going to lock America down quick. And that means no trucks is going to come in and bring the goods to these supermarkets. You got trucks that bring in the goods to Costco's, trucks that bring in the goods to BJ's, trucks that bring in the goods to Trader Joe's and Aldi's and all the rest of these, these um, supermarkets, Fairway, Fine Fair, Seatown, whatever supermarkets in your neighborhood, which only holds three days worth of food. When these, super, when these bridges get locked down, when Donald Trump declared a state of emergency, that's the beginning of Jacob's trouble. That's the beginning of sudden destruction. Because you're not going to be able to feed your family. And that's going to produce a famine. You're going to have uproars of the people, sedition among men. You're going to have race riots. You're going to have race wars. You're going to have people invading one another's property. 
taking their goods for the lack of bread. You got to have pestilence running rampant. You got women getting raped. That's the beginning of Jacob's trouble. That's the beginning of that sudden destruction that's going to come upon you. And, you, and, and two thirds of you Negroes and Spanish little workers gonna get caught up. You're gonna get caught up because why? You're not taking heed to what's going on. To your everything, it's all about partying. You're all about that spirit of mirth. But we have scriptures to prove otherwise, man. Jeremiah thirty and seven. Um, Jeremiah thirty and seven. Which is martial, which is um, Jacob's trouble, which is the beginning of martial law, and all hell breaking loose. Revelation 12 and 12, Daniel 12 and 1. Just to name a few scriptures that's going into Jacob's trouble, martial law, when all hell is breaking loose. So where's the peace and the safety at? And we out there prophesying to y'all week in and week out of the destruction that's coming. We're out there prophesying to y'all week in and week out. And, and, and condemning Esau and the rest of the nations and condemning the two-thirds of Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans that don't want to get right, that can't get right, because you're part of the two-thirds club. But our job is to still go out there and teach to gather the hope for the let. Wherever you people were here, wherever you people were forbear, we're still going out there to teach y'all and to push this word. But majority of y'all fan your hands, scoff and scorn, and talk shit. But soon, you're going to realize we're not in a time of peace and safety when that sudden destruction come up upon you like a, like a woman in travail. When them birth pangs hit, when that trial and that tribulation come upon you, this total pestilence is running rampant. But on a larger scale, E. coli, Ebola, AIDS, cancer, um, tuberculosis, the Black Death, the newborn plague. All these pestilence come upon you, man. Famine. Concentration camps. The guillotine. That's sudden destruction. And then ultimately, when the nuclear missiles are being detonated from the different countries, such as Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, Pakistan, India, Great Britain, France, Germany. That's the sudden destruction, and when Yahweh Shah cracked them skies with the holy angels, man, to bring death, destruction, and deliverance. That's that sudden destruction that's going to come up upon you, man. It says, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You're not going to escape the destruction that's coming, man. I'm talking about the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans that's a part of the Two Thirds Club, you know? Because we have been warning you week in and week out, and also throughout the week we put up videos. So there's no excuse on, or oh, I didn't know, because we out there, videos is out there. If you don't watch a great millstone video, you can see other videos, but there's so many videos that's out there on the YouTube, man, that it's hard for you to say, I didn't know, man. Because everybody know about the Israelites, man. Because this world has reached them from, to the four corners of the earth. And that's why you see uproars of the people, you see um, riots, you see earthquakes in diverse places, you see fires, pestilence, you see chariots, spot, some, 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 um, um, sightings all over the place. Because we're, the the, we're at the end of Esau, the so-called white man's rulership. We're at the end of the age of Esau. So that's why this sudden destruction is going to come upon y'all, man. Because it's going to come upon Esau, the so-called white man. And those who are joined unto him. So with that, um, close it out. Abba Watazayu Akim out there was edified. This has been a great millstone to the point. And with that, Shalom.